All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm outside my regular stomping ground, Upton Park, but I'm not here for a game. I'm here for something very different. I'm here with Barclays, who obviously sponsor the Barclays Premier League, but they also do something called Barclays Life Skills, which is a campaign designed to help 18 to 24 year olds find jobs in things they're passionate about, like sport, like football, like music, whatever. And obviously at West Ham, there's 11 players on the pitch, but there's a lot more staff behind the scenes that make the club tick. We're gonna meet some of them today, find out how they made their first step on the footballing ladder. Come on. Right guys, I'm here with Dougie, the head groundsman here at West Ham. Dougie, uh, first off, the grass is looking great. No, we've, been, we've done well. Uh, we started on the 1st of July this year, uh, the first training session. So yeah, it's been a long, long season so far. What was your first kind of experience in this industry? It was the first, like, one day, you'd never done anything in this line of work before. <laughs> what was your first, first no, day? No, I, I, I went from school work experience. Uh, oh, okay. So I uh, 14 year old, um, onto a golf course. I uh, worked there for a week. Uh, unfortunately, they employed me, uh, you know, after I finished school. Um, so I was there for a few years and then, as I say, progressed on from there. Climb the ladder? Yeah. yeah, it's a good career, it's worked well for me. Yeah, and what advice would you give to someone that maybe was starting off on that same ladder themselves? Just be passionate, you know, want to, to turn up, don't look at the weather. You know, football doesn't stop just because there's, uh, you know, snow due or um, heavy rain coming in. You've got to believe in what you do and, and push forward. I think you just get drawn into the, the whole West Ham aura. Uh, you, know, and, uh, you know, you embrace it and the more you give to the club, the more, uh, you know, you seem to enjoy it and, and the people that you work with. Right guys, I'm here with J-Mo, assistant kit man at West Ham. Yeah. How many shirts have you actually got in this room? Oh, probably couldn't count. Every player, even our first team squad, cater for about four shirts. Four shirts. So, yeah, so we keep it, try and keep it stocked up as much as we can. So what's it like working here? Tell us, do, you, do you enjoy it? Yeah, of course, of course. You have a bit of a laugh with the players. Yeah. You see the world, you see, you work with some lovely people like Julian Dix, yeah. Chris Woods, yeah. growing up watching them play football on a Saturday, the manager. So and now you work with them quite quickly. Now you work with them, you work with them. Yeah. You see the good stuff, you see yeah. all the good stuff that you don't always see on the terraces. And what advice would you give if there was a young guy who wants to get into football like yourself, yeah. wants to work at a club, what, what's the first step they should, they should make? If you've got a passion for football, just go with it. There's always opportunities here to work. If it's a good place to work. If you're willing to work hard, it's probably one of the best jobs in the world. I'm here with Rebecca, we're in the West Ham store and uh, Rebecca, how long have you been working at the store now? Um, I've been working here permanently full time for about two years, Okay. but my involvement has been since I was about 14 doing work experience. So you took the initiative, you wanted some work experience, you sent a letter in, said can yep. I come, yep. and, it, and it worked out for you? Yeah it did, yeah. They said when you're 16 come back and um, we'll give you a job for you. So. So you and did I've just gone from there. So I've you just made worked a good impression, really hard, yeah. yeah. I always went into working retail and fashion and visual merchandising, and I never thought I'd be a visual merchandiser for West Ham. But to actually get what I wanted from work experience is, it's been amazing. It's quite a good example that obviously a lot of the guys that want to come work at a club will be because they love football. But and I'm, I'm sure you've you've grown to love the club that's been yeah, being I have, here. Yeah. But you also might have a passion for being in a number of different areas, which a football club or a sporting club can offer you. There's a lot of different things you can get involved. In. Yeah, it is. Okay guys, I'm here with Reese, who works in the ticket office. How did you first get a job at West Ham? Um, well, it was when I was at school. I was uh, coming to the end of year 11, uh, just finishing off my GCSEs. My English teacher, um, she knew someone that worked here, the ticket office manager, and she said to me, um, there's some job opportunities that become up, uh, coming available at the end of the year. If anyone wanted to apply, um, you know, if you bring your CV in to me, I can pass it on for you. So when you first put your CV in, yeah. was that your first time you put a CV in anywhere? First time I really? ever put a CV in, yes. This so, you, is so your my first, job, first job and you just yeah, kept it going? Just stayed in ever since really, yeah. I, I wouldn't have thought something like this would become available. Um, but when it did, I was, uh, I was quite surprised and I thought, you know, because I enjoy football so much. It also gives me opportunity as well, match days, you know, to go up and actually watch the game sometimes. So yeah. if you enjoy football, and yeah, I'd, I'd definitely recommend it. Keep up the good work, mate. I love it. Cheers. Right, guys, I'm here with Mark. You're a digital journalist at West Ham. Uh, yes, I am. What does that mean? <laughs> it means I do everything, Spencer. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I, 
I was brought in because um, towards the end of my um, time as a sports journalist, uh, we've been using video cameras for the last five years. When they were looking for someone who could film and can write, I kind of fitted the bill basically. Right, yeah. yeah. So, um, and it's actually worked for me because I'm not probably sh wouldn't be sitting here now if I didn't have those skills of, yeah, of, of, of being able to do both. So I went to university after school, um, and um, funny enough, the careers advisor came in and um, said to the whole class the whole group there said stay behind afterwards if you want to do work experience and I said to her I'm really keen to get into sports journalism and she said uh, it's funny you should say that because a guy who did this course runs one of the biggest sports agencies in the country Wow! and has said to me if ever you get anyone in here who wants to come and do work experience let me know and from that moment I've, I've kind of never looked back on doing, on doing this job so it's, it's I would urge anyone watching this to if they're thinking of doing work experience it's, it's a real good way to get into, into the media. Like any job, you have to start somewhere. Yeah. You can't just expect to go in and become, you know, the main presenter on Sky Sports. Course, you have yeah. to start, you know, all the people who do it have to start somewhere and work their way up. Mark, thank you very much for your time. No problem. Keep up the good work. Thank you. So there you go, guys. That's it from our time here at West Ham. We've only met a few of the staff that make this club tick, but it's very interesting. It's something I'm very passionate about, is, is people having jobs that they enjoy, because I really enjoy my job. I love it. But what you might not know is it all started with an internship for me. I didn't know what to do after uni, I went on an internship and that helped me get other jobs. But, I tell you what, if the Barclays Life Skills campaign had been around when I was between the ages of 18 to 24, I would definitely have applied for it because it would have cut out the middleman, I would have gone straight into working on something I'm passionate about. So whether it's football, a football club, another sport uh, job or maybe something in entertainment, there's something for you, I'm sure. They've got entertainment venues you can get involved at. So there's loads of things. So make sure you click the link if you're between 18 to 24 and you want to step up on the ladder in a job you're passionate about. The link is barclayslifeskills.com forward slash dream hyphen job. There's a link in the description. And uh, drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed this. Subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. But until then, don't go changing.